there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to the new studio. All thanks to you. All thanks to you. So, let's begin. Jealous guy, jealous guy. You put on G and you play strings 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three. You play the bass with the first note. And then you play 5 and 4 on strings 2 and 3 with the E bass. Okay? This is E minor, just for a second. And then you have 5 on the second string, 2-3 on the first, or 0-2-3 on the first string. Okay? And then you have D. Then you have kind of a country turnaround. Okay? It's three slide to four on the uh, on the D string. Three on the second string. And then you slide four to five on the D string and then five on the second string. You do the same thing to seven. You can play A with it, if you want. And then you have 7-7, seven, 8-9, seven, and 10-10. Ten and ten. Okay, all on strings 2 and 4. Okay? And you can play the bass string, 10 on the 6th string. Okay, this is D7 now. So... And then 12 and 10 on the second string. So, and then you're back to E minor. You play 8, 9 on strings 2, 3, 2, 3, 2, 3 with E as your bass note. And then 9 on the third. And then the open second string. And then G. Okay? Three on the second string with the G chord. This gives you time to... Okay? The open second string gives you time to make the change. Then you start the verse. Okay? Strings two and one. The first string is open. And then you have three zero on the first string with E minor. So everything is open. Three on the second open first again. And then four slide to two on the third string and then the D string. Two, three, five, and then D7. Okay, so the first line, E minor, and then D7, two on the third string, zero, three, zero on the second, two on the third, open second. And then you have four slide to two on the D string this time with the E bass. Okay? And you play the two again on the D string because that kind of accentuates the note instead of okay, just leaving it as it is. So I play it twice. And then zero, one, two on the second string, turning this into E minor six. Now, when I play two, I play the open third string as well to emphasize the chord. And then it's two slide to four on the D string. Zero two on the third. You can hammer it on. Zero three on the second. And then D. I play the C shape up two frets. Okay, C, C sharp, D. So. And then E, just the bass, and then you have the same line up to the open second string, and then you have the open E string twice into a C chord. Okay, so it's E, C. The E string. And then 3-3 three, three on the second string into G. Chorus. 0-3-0 zero, zero on the second string. You can pull it off. And then you have D minor over F. It's 3-2 and two on strings 2 and 3 with 1 on the bass. Okay, so it's... 
three on the second string and then three pull off to one on the second string into a C chord. Then the third string. So it's the pull off, bass, and then the chord with the third string. Then you can play D and then G, three, three pull off to zero on the uh, second string and then that D minor over F again. Open second string and then B flat. Okay, so I play three, three, one on strings two, three, and five. And then I lift the bar and put it back on, on the first string, zero, one. And then it's the same first move, but instead of D minor over F, you play D over F sharp. So you play the exact same chord progression, G to D, but instead of one on the bass, you have two on the bass. So, okay, now it's D major instead of D minor. And then two on the third string and then a little bit of blues. Okay, so it's two, three, two, zero, hammer on double pull off on the third string with the E bass. And then two on the D string. And then the open D string because this turns into E minor seven. So it sounded a little weird to me. So I add, the three on the second string as well, that's an octave above that note, so. Just softly. Then you have C, you play the fifth string, and then strings four, three, four. Two slide to four on the third string, and then five, five on the D string. And that's Jelly's Guy. You can download the tab for free. The link is below in the description. The full Lick and Ref tab book, all 300 plus arrangements. And you can help me create more of these arrangements and the new daily shorts uh, on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Lick and Ref. I'm eternally grateful for anything you choose to give and I am giving it back to you in full force uh, via your free guitar education here on Lick and Ref. So if you choose to support Lick and Riff, I am grateful for your generosity. You can also check out my course program, guitarfreedom360.com. Guitar Freedom 360, that's my brand new course program. Over 20 guitar courses and uh, I keep producing new ones so you can tell me exactly what you want to see in the new courses. I will see you the next time. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Bye for now. Have fun.